Hey guys, and welcome back to EU4 and the Pirates of Palembang. We are trying our hardest to uh, to try and survive, I guess. <laughs> to uh, to try and sort things out. We took a lot of loans in order to uh, to make a, a couple of these fights actually work. Oh, we can get an ability. A Age of Discovery ability. A plus one combat bonus in terrain of capital. What would that be? Uh, in forests. Or jungle. Oh, jungle specifically. M one tax, one production, one manpower when colony finishes. That is kind of fun. War tax cost for free. Transfer subject, peace treaty, half cost. AE, better, and feudal de jure law. Or de jure. Uh, Hmm, unrest minus five would be fun, but I think the amount of colonization we're going to be doing higher developed coloni uh, col colonies is so much better. So let's do that. We will need to embrace renaissance, obviously. Uh, this is just about finishes. Hey! It's fun. It's a Christmas song. Is this a Christmas Day episode? I don't know. I can't remember. No, I think I've already recorded that. I think this is after... I can't remember. The thing is, EU4 is one of those games that's so fun that you just keep playing it. What did I say anyway? Yeah, consolidation of power to get the maximum absolutism is probably the best one. Frequent elections is good because it's less... It's uh, less election length, but... With every election removing a Republican tradition, it's quite hard. I mean, we've already got a 666 now. Like, it's, it's all you're gonna get. Like, it's the max that you can get. Um, I, I suppose it will take... Uh, it'll take like an extra five years to get a 666. It's not that bad, to be honest. La 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 la. So what are we actually getting then? 1.63 every year. Okay. Might need to watch this for... Postal raiding. Perfect. An extra 15 ducats. Thank you very much. And more sailors. And that's always good. Eleven ducats. It's not. It's still a hundred percent, isn't it? I think so. Okay, we've got Malacan separatists, separatists, and Siakan separatists now. I could reduce war score, which I think is probably worth it. That's an extra plus two national unrest for that click. Uh, these are about to bash down as, as well. I'm waiting on 142 admin points to Corsiac. And that's actually a whale. 1511, Jesus. Malacan separatists. Hmm. Where's that in? Selangor, Pahang, and Malacca. So I can increase the autonomy in pretty much. Obviously, we don't get anything at 100% autonomy. Um, apart from what is it about trade power? But it means that no unrest. We don't need to fight that, or less unrest. We don't have to fight that. And we also have the uh, the ability to get our bloody hey thirty six ducats. Not still nothing. Shame. 
Uh, we can't pay back any loans yet. That's the thing, as this all goes down, national unrest will go down. It's just an annual. How are we doing here? Alright. We're getting there. Total income is 12, thanks to... Well, that is just our total income. Uh, I mean, fort maintenance is... Right, uh, consolidation of power I think we're going for. Okay. Right, well, lacking separatists need to be harsh treatmented. I don't like having to do it, but we need the extra time to manage the overextension and stuff. And as the war exhaustion comes down, what's the next government reform? State maintenance down, number of states up, or global trade power up. Ooh, not sure. To see where we're at when that uh, that actually hits in. There's another core coming through. Should drop down. Slightly. Drop over extension down a bit. Thing is, if we can bop down war exhaustion, then. Oh, national unrest actually. I went down quite a lot. Must be being below 50 is another. quite major chunk. See, I can in Dragiri. I feel like spending all our manpower on some more foot soldiers is probably a good shout. Now we've got 139. 131 next month and we can pop that down as well. That's even less unrest. Oh, there we go. Okay, apart from the instant cores. That's 13,000, like. Urgh! I can't increase autonomy in Indragiri at the moment. Siak has 2.5. Temperature percent chance each month. I don't know if it's worth. Oh. Didn't realize I'd upset the Sufi lodges there. That's the worst. <laughs> That's actually the worst. Oh, spend it. Do it. Oh, I hate spending on harsh treatment. Such a fucking waste. How are we getting on here anyway? We're just- we're- I duck it in the hole each month. I need to keep watching for the raided coasts. November... Uh, October 1491. Oh, there we go. December... Of next year. December of 84. December of 84. It looks like December of 84 was the last time that I... Okay. Yeah, December of 84 it looks like it's the next one. That we can actually get some ducats for it. Okay, as Tolibang Wang's doing alright. He's a bit pish, but... I think T actually gets a... I think there's a, a modifier for T, eventually.
Malakin's separatists are going down now at point nine. That's because I bumped everything. I think Johor is now at core. Will that actually make me anything? I doubt it. No, no, we'll still raise our income by having a state there. Let's make that a court. What mission have we fulfilled? State maintenance down, harsh treatment costs down. Oh damn. That's like perfect. Yeah, I need the hundred percent force limit thing. So I'll need to I'll need to get some more barks. But in order to do that, I'll That's December of eighty four. For twenty bucks each, I need another four, basically. Hey, we're getting there though, look. Point four three. Ish. We're training troops though, so. Black and Separatists are pretty much done. It's only Indragiri that's causing us issues right now. As overextension goes down and war exhaustion slowly ticks down. In Malacca. That's off. Here's our prayer projection. Conquer provinces. Embargoing. Okay, so. I need to insult rivals and things. Brunei, Malacca. Ugh. We're gonna have to be Ayutthaya, isn't it? They don't like me anyway. Um, let's... Embargo you. Wait until you come back. And then we'll send insults. To Malacca and send one to Brunei as well. You can have a scornful insult. Brunei culture is something of an oxymoron, don't you think? There you go. Son of a bitch. Uh, war with Khmer and Pegu. You want access from me because of Khmer and Pegu? Yeah, sure, I've only got one relationship. Lana. Okay. I still got my Diplo Advisor slot free. Profiteering and Paya must protect our trade. Local unrest down. Local trade power up. Yeah, if uh, if we can do that, I don't care. Patani don't like me. If I can get unrest down and wherever it is. Monopoly company formed. Trade income increase, so we get extra trade efficiency in Diplo Power or 160 ducats. Trade efficiency is 15% for 10 years. So how does trade efficiency work? Never be higher than 200%. Uh, trade efficiency is how efficient your nation is at trading. It's a base for how much income you can get out of your merchants. So if I can boost that by 15%, Will that boost my actual income by 15%? If so, then that is uh, 7 ducats, roughly. 8 ducats a month. 8 ducats a month for 10 years is 90-ish, 95. Let's just round up to 100. A year. Wait, is that? Yeah, about 100 a year. Wait, how? What? 15%? It's point. What, what am I doing? 
15% is 0.8 ducats a month. So it'll be 8 ducats a year, rounding, rounding it roughly up to 10 ducats a year, for 10 years 100 ducats, and 50 dip point, dip, diplo points or 160 ducats. That's if we're not... I don't even know how trade efficiency properly works, but I do get 50 diplo points as well. Or I can get 160 ducats right now, which will all go on to paying back loans, of which we have 7 of. I'm going to make a long term investment and we're going to see if 5.89 does go up to, what would it be, oh roughly 7 ducats, would it? Yeah roughly 7 ducats, let's see next month. Okay, 6.61, okay it's, it's helped a little bit. But has put us in the green, which is nice. Uh, I also want to reduce inflation as well, which has put us up a bit higher. Okay. We are definitely getting there. Let's core that. We're just about to lose 20% over extension due to Malacca. Ta da! Okay, and if we state that, yeah, nice. We're earning again! Yay! Pasai, who are you at war with? Khmer and Pegu. Wait, where the fuck is Khmer and Pegu? Pegu's here. Why the fuck are you at war with them? God knows. I still just want into this Beijing trade node to privateer it. There it goes, there's a fucking renewal of a loan. We need to embrace this institution, which is 62 ducats at the moment, just because this area hasn't uh, hasn't got it yet. Devastation in Siak. Nope. We lost our lost our little buddy. Uh, I still want the buccaneers to be in charge, so, and I still want the admin points. Okay. Wow. We got a greedy person, so we lost 10% national tax. <laughs> Which, when you're dealing with uh, such fine numbers as we are, that's not great. I'll vote them out. Yeah, same where little buddy died. Well, let's core that. And overextension is nearly completely gone. And how's our... So how's the devastation actually looking then? Is it still devastated by 2%? Two, two Let's do that. How else is it devastated? Wow, okay. CX pretty horribly devastated still. Oh, okay. Can't improve, because... That'll drop it by 12. Okay, let's totally undevastate that land. How's all the land up here? Is this... That's fine. Siak was just horribly hit. Okay, we spent, uh... Spent a little bit. It's an investment in the future, though. That's which is what I like about it. His bloody loans are going to be coming in rapid. Oh, I forgot to... Oh no, it's December 84, isn't it? Oh, inflation's going to be bouncing up. Oh, Malacca found out we were building a spy network. Erg. Okay. Let's see, we need to, we need to pay off the... We can embrace an institution, the institution anyway, because it's 34% now. Construction costs and development costs gets cheaper. Aithaya has announced Paul Embang as a new rival. Aithaya is big. And I'm getting close. Who's Aithaya's rivals? Lanzhang, Ava, and me. 
Lanzhang is here. Ava, okay, so maybe we should send someone to improve relations with them. But unfortunately, guys, that's all we've got time for in this episode. So as always, thanks all for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.